everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling y'all all about my favorite MAC foundations for dry skin. I have three I'm going to show you. It's going to be the MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation, MAC Studio Tech, and MAC Studio Sculpt. Now what is neat about it is I got um, one of my friends on here from YouTube to um, do one for oily skin and I will put a link to her channel down below. Go check it out, especially if you have oily skin because this video isn't going to help you all that much since I have normal to dry skin and I have extremely dry skin in the winter time. Um, so basically in this video you're going to be seeing me put on each of the three foundations just so you can get a good idea what the finish is on each of the foundation. Plus I'll be telling you a little bit about each foundation as I'm putting it on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to go check out um, Southern Charms video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. First um, foundation that I'm going to be talking about is the Mineralized Moisture Foundation. This is SPF of 15 and it says a combination of powders creates an optical blurring effect that virtually diminishes imperfections, fine lines for more even skin tone. The light reflecting natural satin finish makes skin appear refined, revitalized, and refreshed with a new purity softly lit from within. Um, SPF 15 adds the perfect finishing touch of sun protection features our 77 mineral complex shea butter and vitamin E. This one um, is in a glass jar or bottle with a pump. It is very liquidy so I'm going to give it a shake. I usually put about two pumps out on my hand and I'm going to blend it in today with the MAC 130 brush. With these foundations, you'll probably see me use different brushes. I like different brushes for different ones. Uh, and I'm sorry if the lighting is a little off. Lily broke my light yesterday. And yeah, so it's sunny, but my room does not get a lot of sun. So I'm hoping that it's still going to look okay. Because it's just going to have to be okay until I can get some more lights. So this foundation is, I would say, sheer to light coverage. If you don't like that, this one is not going to be the one for you. Um, but with that being said, I find that it really evens out my skin tone and just makes my skin look really pretty um, and just kind of natural. Now, this is a very dewy foundation you'll kind of see when I get it all on. So I would say the first layer is pretty sheer. I may put a little bit um, more on. Try not to get it in my brows because I've already got those done. And I'm hoping that you can kind of see that it is dewy. So yeah, I'm going to stop there. I think um, you can definitely add, you know, some concealer under your eyes. And if you have some spots, I'm like, I don't really have a lot of things. I have some dark spots here. I have some redness, but it's not severe redness. So I can get by with this. I will say this one, if you have severely dry skin, this is probably the foundation that you want to get. It does not cling to dry patches at all. Um, and it just makes your skin look dewy. With that being said, sometimes I do like to set this with a little powder, which I'm going to do because I may be looking a little dewy. Although since my lighting is not so bright, you may not be able to tell. I'm just using the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light. This actually also adds a little bit of coverage. So it's a good option if you want this, but want a little extra coverage, put um, this foundation, some um, concealer, and then this powder, and it will give you a little extra coverage. So yeah, that is it with the 
um, powder on. I will say this winter when my skin was very, very dry, I had some dry flakiness here. This did not show the flakiness at all. I absolutely loved it. It is very lightweight. It is very comfortable feeling. Um, I really do like this foundation a lot. Let me see how much it is. I have my computer right here and it is $34 for one fluid ounce. So that is the MAC Mineralized um, Moisture Foundation. The next foundation that I'm going to talk about is the Studio Tech Foundation and it is a compact foundation that looks like this. It does come with a sponge. I would just suggest not using it. It is going to use way too much of the product, but I do like to keep it in there um, for emergencies or if I'm traveling and it looks like that. It comes with a mirror. Um, this is also in the color NW15 and on the MAC website it says it is a tri-blend system of water, emollients, and powder. Glides on to a soft, creamy emulsion. Innovative formula provides a full range of coverage allowing for true to skin shading from very light to very dark in a natural matte powder perfect finish. Light diffusing properties soften lines to create a fresh flawless finish for all skin types. I will have to say that this was the first MAC foundation that I ever tried and this is probably the third or fourth um, compact of this that I have bought because I really do like it. I am actually going to spray on a little Fix Plus before I put this on because it's been a while since I have moisturized my face and let that dry just for a second. Um, normally I like to put my um, moisturizer on and then blend this right into it. I'm going to use a, a paddle foundation brush and pick up some of the product. Now I will have to say that this is much fuller coverage than the um, MAC Mineralize Moisture. So if you're wanting more coverage, this may be what you want to go for. But since it is in a compact in a cream, it does not, um, I don't want to say it doesn't blend as well. It just takes a little more, it's a little stiffer, if that makes any sense, than like the liquid. It's just a little different consistency. I do like, guys, my battery died. But what I was saying is I do like this, um, especially for the summer when I'm actually a little less dry and I'm more on the normal side. So this one is not as um, friendly for dry flaky skin. It is fine for if you just have dry skin and you don't want something super um, moisturizing. This one is great. So I would say it is good for dry skin. It is just not as good as the uh, Mineralize Moisture Foundation because it does show flakes. Now it does feel nice on the skin. This is more of, I would say it's more of a natural matte. I don't think it's completely matte even though they say it is. To me it does still, um, you know, have some life to it. It is definitely nowhere near dewy like the Mineralized Moisture Foundation was, but it is not, um, I, I wouldn't call this a completely matte foundation either. And what's nice is because it is a cream, you can just pick up little bits of it to kind of spot if you have any extra coverage. And I will actually say that I like to, um, at times, put on the Mineralized Moisture Foundation and then put this underneath my eyes if I need a little extra coverage. So this was the Studio Tech Foundation and this is the um, coverage and the finish that it gives. So this is more, I would call this a natural um, kind of look to your foundation kind of leaning towards matte, but I still 
but to me it just I don't feel like that it is completely matte this does kind of transfer if you're like on your cell phone on a hot phone you can get some transfer onto your phone but otherwise I really do like this foundation it is very long wearing and I do find you can build this to full coverage so let's go on to the next foundation so the third and final foundation that I'm going to talk about is the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation and it does have SPF of 15 on the website it says and it's a luxurious creamy foundation that delivers ultimate hydration while instantly revitalizing the look of dull and dry skin innovative gel based system provides outstanding skin feel and a medium buildable coverage with a natural satin finish um, offers broad spectrum protection and it's comfortable on all skin types, but especially suited for normal to dry and mature skins. So this does come in like a little squeeze tube type thing, which I do find like this will be good for travel. This is the darkest shade that I have because I just got this the other day in my last MAC haul, if you saw that. Um, so this is NC20, where the others were in, um, the, were in 15. So this will probably be my summertime foundation. This is definitely a cream to gel type foundation. It is not moving when I'm putting it on my hand. I'm just going to put it on with a flat um, foundation brush from Equal Tools. So going on, this feels very um, comfortable. It feels light. It does feel um, kind of a gel-like which I find interesting. It feels a little bit just in the texture and how it blends in the Revlon um, cream foundation or like the whipped foundation if you know what I'm talking about. I would say this has medium to full coverage. I'm, this, this is really good coverage. I, in fact, I think this may have the most coverage out of all three of them. Although the Studio Tech has pretty good coverage too. But if you're really needing to cover something up, um, in, in a pretty light way, it's not really heavy. This may be what you want to go for. Um, I do feel like it is good for dry skin. I don't necessarily feel like it um, is as moisturizing or as um, easy as the uh, moisture, what is it, mineralized moisture. I feel that one, if you have severely dry skin, that that's probably the one that you need to go with. If you have a lot of flakes, I would suggest that one because that one did not show flakes. I feel like this one, even though I don't have flakes right now, just because it is a thicker consistency may show flakes more. Um, I do feel this lasts a very good long time and I don't necessarily feel since I do have dry skin that I would have to set this with powder. And I do feel that it is, it's a satin finish. Um, I don't feel like it is super dewy and I don't feel like it's anywhere near matte. I do think it's like a satin. It does have a sheen to it. So it makes your skin look really pretty and glowy. But just not quite as glowy as this one. I'm going to use my finger right here just to rub the end just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on a couple areas that I need to have a little more coverage in. So yeah, I like this actually. Um, this probably matches my neck better than the other two because I'm getting a little sun from being outside with my kids and driving in the car. Um, this feels very comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel really heavy. I do feel like out of all of them, this shows pores a little bit more. But I really don't have um, a pore problem. I just don't notice my pores at all with these two. 
all in all, if you have severe dry skin with flakes, I would go for the Mineralize Moisture Foundation. If you want more coverage than that, I would go with one of these. If you have flakes, I would skip this one all together and just go with this one. Um, but if you have pretty normal skin without flakes, but it's just a little dry, I would go with this one, especially if you like a compact foundation. I find this is just simple to throw in your purse if you need touch-ups or to go on vacation with. So I hope this video was helpful. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.